Okay, y'all, today Humble released their quarterly report and we're gonna get into it immediately. But first, uh, please subscribe, you guys. I'm the only person that, that I know of that's on YouTube talking about the OTC and Pink Street Markets. So let's get into it. First, I mean, here are the pages and pages of debt owned to shareholders that uh, provided equity. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, it, you know. But look at what's going on, you guys. Look at this. You know, they, they're making money straight up and cash and their current assets. They have 2.4 million in cash and uh, they have uh, 20 million in total assets. But if you guys look at this, this asset thing, um, uh, 16.5 million is in goodwill, which mean we all know what goodwill is. It's, 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 it's just, uh, it is what it is. It's not real, but you know, it's what companies say it is. And there's a lot of leeway into what becomes quote unquote goodwill. But outside of that, you guys, great numbers here, as long as their cash is coming in. But you guys, again, I told you the, the fact that their merchant fees are at one point five seven five percent is great because that will encourage all merchants to use Humble as a you know as a merchant exchange because the other merchants are charging two and a half percent two point two five percent whatever Humble is way under it and we will see that their main income came from merchant fees. You guys, that's it's gonna be huge for Mer huge for Humble, and uh, you know I hope you guys are excited about that. So basically, not creating debt by, you know, selling shares or giving shares out. So again, it, it's a dilution issue, which is a problem. But overall, I think you guys will be really happy with it with the numbers. So okay, again, y'all, um, sixteen million dollars in goodwill. Um, we got 26 million in liabilities. Again, not good. But again, we're looking at the future. We have a net loss of 34 million. <laughs> Definitely not good, but all that's in shares. So it, it's not, you're not looking at a monetary loss. It's just, it's a dilution, which again, for a shareholder is an issue. But overall, again, I don't think this is bad. Um, we have 10 million in notes that were issued, but we know that they paid 20 million for ticker I and it's, it, you know, half of it's stock, half of it is in convertible notes. Again, the convertible notes are convertible to stock. Dilution issue again, 8 million for monster, but here's the, here's the big thing. You guys, they have 450,000 from merchant fees from the last quarter. That is huge. That is going to keep increasing and keep rising, and that's what we want for Humble. I mean, we're looking at this turning into basically a credit card company that is going to be producing millions of dollars in fees every month. Their 1.75% for transaction fees is way less than the 2.25% that's charged by the com competition. Minimum. Minimum. The, 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 this goes up to almost 5%. So you guys, again, you know, we're looking at Humble for being a long-term play and their generation of merchant fees is their biggest asset right now, which I, I said before, going forward, will be their biggest asset. Now, we are looking for things that <clears throat> pay out with ticker I and their other assets and those will be coming in the next couple, you know, in the next quarters. So looking forward to that. You guys, overall, Humble is, is doing well. You know they have a you know a large increase in income in the last four quarters, almost five hundred thousand of it, the majority from merchant fees. You guys look for that in the future. That is their biggest play, I think, besides their NFTs and some of their other plays. I mean they have a lot of large plays here that are going forward. I am looking forward definitely to the merchant fees because that is going to be one of the biggest. The material provided herein is for informational purposes only. It does not constitute an offer to uh, buy or sell or a solicitation of an offer to buy or sell any uh, securities. This information should be relied upon for purpose of, this information should not be relied upon for the purpose of investing in any security.